Hacking and identity theft are pretty much at all time highs and it's getting worse year after year after year. We've built our entire lives on the internet at this point. Everything you do from bank to business to work to plan things, vacations, everything is pretty much done from the internet, whether it's a mobile device, whether it's your smartphone, regardless of what it is. So today, Operation Online Safety. Now, if you're not familiar with the YubiKey, this is a hardware two-factor authenticator. Now, you've got a few options when it comes to two-factor. You've got the phone, which is probably the worst option because if you change your phone number, something happens, your phone gets brute forced. Maybe you have a burner slash dummy style phone. You use the number, you don't have the number. You cause yourself a lot of problems, especially if you don't have backup codes. Then you've got the next option, which is an authenticator app, which can work pretty decent. And then you've got the best option, which is a hardware solution. So this is YubiKey by Yubico. And you can see the box here, pretty nice. And what this does is this happens to be a USB type C for my MacBook Pro here, but really you can use any. You've got USB 3, you've got uh, USB micro, you've even got lightning. So there's all these different ports. You can get the YubiKey. And when you go to your account and they're supported by many accounts, you plug it in and then it's got the gold part. You put your thumb on it you're good to go and it will authenticate your account or password. So for two-factor authentication, this is really important. You can check out the links down below to check out YubiKey by Yubico and it is a really good option. I always recommend a hardware solution over a phone number. The authenticator apps work okay, but again, you still have to deal with the fact that you're dealing with a digital app, something that can be brute forced or taken over. This somebody has to actually have. Now, a word to the wise, a good option is to have two of them on an account in case you break one. What I do is I have this one, which is the main one I use on my MacBook Pro, which is my main daily driver computer. And then I keep a second one for the accounts in my safe. So if I ever lose this or something happens, I pull out the second one. It's kind of like a spare key. And then if I have to pull out the second one, I'll order another one and then make a new spare, right? So it's good to always have a spare and that way you're, you're safe and secure. The other thing to keep in mind is compartmentalize when you're doing this stuff. So I keep one specifically for the MacBook Pro, which is the main one I use. On my phone, I mostly use the key apps that I need. So I don't overly, I don't overly rely on my phone. I know a lot of people are just buried in their phone all day, every day, at all times. I'm not that type of person. There's only about 12, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 12 to 15 apps that are on my phone. Now, even that sounds like a lot, but I know a lot of people have 40, 50, 60 apps. If you really start counting them, you probably have more than you think. I think I only have 12 to 15 apps. I keep it simple, streamlined, only what I need. Do most things online because you have a lot more privacy, security, anonymity, and security features on the internet, whether it's your, your laptop or a desktop computer. You have a lot better option there than the internet on your phone, which is a very unsecure device in a lot of, well, in a lot of situations, depending upon what you're doing. It's a lot easier to hack. It's a lot easier to get in that, especially if you have a hardwired connection versus a wireless slash whatever your, your data is on your phone. So YubiKey and Yubico is, is, is a great option. Another thing to keep in mind when you're looking at two-factor and when you're looking at your accounts is having backups in place. So always make sure for all your accounts you back everything up. Now I recommend using encryption to keep your backups. So what I do is on my computer and on my hard drive, so I always have these hard drives. I'll usually keep a two to four terabyte hard drive by me. And what I'll do is I'll back everything up and I'll use Veracrypt to encrypt it. That way I can keep the files easy, simple, but then you have to encrypt them with something like Veracrypt. So if somebody hacks into your computer, they can't get your files. Breaking the encryption on Veracrypt, I mean, again, I mean, who's after you? The NSA? I mean, for the average hacker, they're not going to go anywhere near this. And keep in mind, when it comes to hacking, see, whenever I talk about privacy security, they're like, well, the, the NSA can hack you. Like the NSA is not after 99.9% .9 of people. You're not worried about trying to have NSA level security. That's ridiculous. You should be with now the government spying and stuff is a real problem and you should try to circumvent that the best you can. 
but the average person is focused more on identity theft and security, people hacking their stuff and stealing your data, stealing access to your bank account, trying to take money from you. The government's not doing that. The government doesn't care about you or your bank account. If they're after you, it's for a serious reason. And yes, you're right. The, you know, they can get in, they can do some next level crazy minority report stuff, but that's the government. You're not most likely trying to evade them. So keep that in mind because I swear every time I put up one of these videos, I'll get comments like, oh, the NSA could break into your computer. And, and what, I mean, okay, they got just God mode access, huh? You've watched way too many movies. To a degree they can, but also to a degree they have serious issues with certain devices. And again, it's not like they can push a button and there's a back door to everything. They're not just a secret special back door where they can get in everyone's devices. Especially if you're using open source, if you're using specific softwares. There's not a back door to everything like some people would have you believe. So keep that in mind. I'm not saying they can't get in, but I'm also saying why would they try, like, what are you doing that they're trying? For most of you, it's more about identity thieves and things like that. The next thing to keep in mind when you have encrypted backups and you have a hardware solution is making sure you change your password every, you know, at least 90 days. A lot of people recommend change it monthly. I change my password to most of my main passwords monthly, which is a good option, but at least every 90 days change your password so you're consistently, you know, changing it up and then make sure you save your data save your backups, also make sure you're backing up your hard drives. You know, it's a couple little steps like that that are the difference between identity theft. And as somebody who's dealt with identity theft, it is not fun. Uh, about 11 years ago, I dealt with uh, my first ever identity theft and it was a nightmare. It's, it's very interesting that somebody could uh, do some of the things that are possible. And before I was a big privacy advocate, I dealt with this, like I said, about 11 years ago was the first time and it was ridiculous. I talk about this on the Privacy X project podcast if you haven't go you can go to privacyxpodcast.com and i break down my entire story with identity theft it's my very first podcast episode that i put up uh, a while a little while ago and it's really really in depth on what happened and it's something to keep in mind so if you haven't checked out the privacy x podcast check that out but also make sure you check out options like yubikey by yubico i'll leave a link down below because i get asked a lot should you use a hardware option or authenticator app the best is always a hardware option then Authenticator app. And a phone number, I guess, is better than not having two-factor. You should have two-factor on pretty much everything. But, uh, you know, a phone number should be your last resort and you really need to be careful that you don't change that number or lose that number or something happens. And if you are ever gonna change your number, make sure you go through everything, think of every account. And, uh, and I would keep a log of those accounts as well. And again, an encrypted file is your best bet. If you write it down, somebody can get that easily. If you leave it on your computer, somebody can get that. So having an encrypted file, I would use something like Veracrypt, which is a good free option to encrypt everything. And then you can mount the drive when you're looking to encrypt it and then unmount it and go on your way. So anyway, really appreciate you guys checking out this video. If you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, check out YubaKey down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.